Welcome back guys, I trust you are doing well. Now the video you just watched is a footage of 14 year old Kashwin Nevis of Alexandria in St. Anne of Jamaica and he was dancing to a popular song titled Rule Jordan Rule that was being performed by a band at a wikipin in Jamaica. Now if you followed the footage you would see that at a point in time he was actually rolling on the floor from left to right, on the bare floor actually, in the sand, looking all dirty and messed up, but you would see how happy and excited he was. But a few hours after that, guess what? Kashwe Neves was found dead, with his head bashed in, in a pool of blood. What happened to Kashwe Neves? Who is responsible for his murder? This is an ongoing case in Jamaica which is just barely two weeks old and today we are going to bring you full details as has been uncovered to date. If you are ready for this true crime story, just buckle up and let's go. The loss of a child is never easy. Almost every parent would rather die than allow something to happen to his or her child and I think that is an instinct that comes with the parenting. Primarily people thought that it had to do mostly with mothers but I've met some fathers who are equally very protective of their children and are willing to go all out to give them their best and also protect them literally sometimes at the expense of their own lives. So you see how Cash Wayne's mom is grieving in this video and you can tell the pain that she's going through her heart goes out to her and the rest of the family but let's get into the issue now Kashwin Neves was just 14 years old and nothing showed that this guy was going to lose his life on this fateful day he is actually a student of Abukri High School and you know he was living his life 14 years old now just getting into the teenage life and definitely he would have some one or two deviant behaviors that would need to be checked along the way as he grows up on this fateful evening it is reported that he went to this wakeeping without the consent of his father his father did not give him permission it's not yet documented or confirmed whether his mom gave him permission of any sort or whether any adult or guardian in his family gave him the permission to be at this week but as it will turn out he went there without permission from his dad and he started dancing his joy away you know just dancing so gleefully to the song that was playing now Let's focus on the song for a minute. Row Jordan Row. This song has a long standing history that spans across centuries. The death of Kashmir Neves, in as much as it's very sad and painful, has also brought up some rumors from various people in various circles. And the song is at the center of some of these rumors. So, according to some people, the song has a spiritual basis. If you trace the history of the song, which goes back more than a century old, it is a song that was modified by slaves to sort of convey their pain, convey their hope, convey their joy and their faith, and eventually also became a song for conveying codes for escape, such that they will insert codes in the song to replace certain words and they knew what the codes meant as far as planning to escape from their slave masters at the time was concerned. So 
The song has very deep roots in pain, in slavery, in history, and there's a belief that it has a spiritual connotation attached to it. That this song, if sung and appreciated at a certain level, at a point in time, it has a sort of spiritual influence. All these are not confirmed except for the fact that it spans over a century old. And this was the same song that was being played that Cashway Neves was dancing to on this fateful night. Now, if you watch this footage carefully, you watch him as he is dancing. He is dancing. He is dancing. And then you see when they get to the point where the song goes like Roll Jordan Roll, he lies on the floor and he's rolling. Rumors being circulated by some people indicate that that was him being possessed by, by virtue of the song and its spiritual connotation. Personally, I don't think that is true, but like I said, this is yet to be confirmed or denounced. So the footage goes further, he's rolling and then notice the man who comes to hold him by the arm and pick him up and take him away. That according to investigations is his father and he's the last person that Kashwe Neves was seen with before he will later be found dead with his head bashed in. And if you are listening to the video, you would hear a man in the background shout at the point this father was taking Kashwe away. The man shouted that, please don't kill him. Daddy, don't kill him. Now, I don't know why he would say that. Honestly, I don't know why he would say that. For me, using my analysis on some of these things, I could be wrong, I admit. But I think it goes to suggest they know there's a history to what this boy might have been going through in his home. Because it's also been reported that there was a lot of abuse on the boy. He was being beaten excessively by his dad and it was way overboard. So for me, I think that it could be true and that would in a way make more sense or add more meaning as to why somebody will scream that don't kill him daddy please don't kill him as he was taking his son away and he like he was the last person who jordan uh, sorry who Cashwin was seen in the custody of up until his dead body was found outside their gates around 11 p.m into dawn and his head was bashed in with something that seemed like either a stone or a heavy metal and he was dead. Now I don't understand why this should happen to a 14 year old boy. I don't think it was a robbery gone bad because actually he had nothing that someone would want to rob him of and there are no reports of him being gang affiliated where you say maybe it was a rival gang or but there is a very strong suspicion that it was his dad who did this to him, especially looking at the mood in which he was, the history of violence between them, and also the fact that he came to drag him away. And his father, a 55-year-old man who is also a mechanic and as such works with metals and heavy stuff, is also in a position to easily acquire an object that could have been used to bash this guy's head in. So, when his dead body was found, the first thing that came to mind was that his dad is the main suspect. So they reported him and they found him, they looked for him, they found him and he was picked up by the police. But to date, his father is also indicating to the police that he didn't do it. Now this man, that is, Cashwin Neves' father, called Festus Neves, was taken into custody following the discovery of his son's body outside his gate at about 2.30 a.m. that Saturday morning. So, it's like everything is pointing to the father, but, you know, in law, the person is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Yes, he's the last person who... The boy was seen with he actually dragged him away you could see he was not happy with what his son was doing the boy's dead body was found outside his gate that also ties it back to him and the boy's head had been bashed in 
You could also look at the history of violence, but there would still have to be something solid that ties the murder weapon to him directly and places him at the scene of the crime, amongst other things, for it to be pinned on him. As it stands now, I think it's mostly based on suspicion, but it seems the suspicion is so strong and people are believing that he is the culprit here. But he is also indicating that it's not him. The case is ongoing. I'm going to follow this case very closely. As and when there are key updates, I'll do an update video. I'll bring it to you. But leave your comments in the comment section. If you have nothing to comment on this, at least let's write an RIP Cashway Neves in the comment section to his family to help them at least stay strong in this time of grieving and his murder also being unsolved. I myself, I wish this young 14-year-old boy a peaceful rest and I wish his family the strength to continue and also the fortitude to persevere as the case unravels. Now, we've hit over 500 subscribers. We appreciate your support. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you too. But if you are watching this video and you are yet to subscribe, please do us a favor hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, share the video, it's free, but it means the whole world to us. And like I always say, keep an eye out and stay safe out there. We'll catch you another time.